your paint finish like this? And if so, keep watching. This is called solvent popping. It is when thinners or reducers become trapped in the paint film when the surface layer skins over too quickly. This prevents their evaporation into the atmosphere and it then leaves bubbles or craters as they push through and pop through the surface. This happens when there is inadequate flash time between coats, too much air movement over the paint causing the surface to skin over. The paint is being applied too thickly or too much flash time before force drying. This is only a minor problem and there is only small amounts of popping and the best thing would be to allow the finish to thoroughly cure and then sand it, smooth it and refinish. If, however, the popping has occurred in large areas then you will have to remove the affected film, prime, seal and recall the whole thing where necessary. To prevent this from happening again, there are four things to ensure the best finish. Firstly, select the recommended thinner or reducer based on the temperature, humidity and air movement. Next, avoid the double wet coats. Thirdly, allow for proper flash times between coats. And finally, restrict the air movement over the surface that you are painting. This is because air might go into the paint film and cause the air to become trapped when the surface layer dries. If you ensure that all these points are covered in your paint shop, then the chances of solvent popping are going to reduce hugely. Hope this information helps you in your spray shop, and please subscribe for further support and spray videos as we add more to the channel.